My name is Thylene Borker kelly and I am my first year at the GW School of Medicine. I lost my mother to asthma at the age of 11, and at, as a witness to the events leading up to her death, um, I just really felt helpless. And um, that was really when my desire to change lives through medicine was first sparked. That led me to a community health center called Peoples, which is about a block from the university in a very low income um, Baltimore community. My experiences at the clinic um, were really geared towards um, something that's been very Im important to me for, for a while, and that is just the importance of community health centers as safe havens for the nation's poor. I actually grew up going to a community health center um, because we didn't really have um, anywhere else to go. It just became very important to me because I, I saw myself in some of the patients that I was serving. When I learned that I received the scholarship um, from GW, it was a very overwhelming emotional experience for me because um, my desire to pursue a career in medicine has been really a lifelong goal. Receiving the scholarship was the, the deciding factor in um, me attending GW. In turn, I just really want to give back it just makes me want to give back that much more to the university in thanks of um, the scholarship. I'm Mike Brown, Dean of GW's Elliott School of International Affairs. My name is Yamur, and uh, I'm a second year grad student. I studied political science and international relations in Turkey, and GW is located um, in the world capital of politics, media, and civil society. Most importantly to me, it's a very diverse institution. GW is a great university, not just because of where we are, but because of who we are. We're a great community of scholars and students and staff. Alumni and parents are all part of our extended academic community. And the combination of our location and our great community of people really gives us, gives us extraordinary, powerful opportunities to make a difference in the world. I did not have the financial means. My family didn't have the financial means to uh, send me to study as a graduate student uh, in a country like the United States. Therefore, uh, this scholarship basically helped me achieve my dream of uh, working abroad and learning uh, from people from uh, different backgrounds. The scholarship and fellowship support uh, helps some tr uh, truly deserving and wonderful students to come to GW and it enriches our academic community by bringing students from around the world to this great university. It's important for students, it's important for the university, it's important for the country and the world. My name is Linda Callahan. I'm studying medicine uh, here at GW I'm in my second year. I'm Jim Scott and I'm the Dean of the School of Medicine and Health Sciences here at George Washington University. The thing about medical school is that it's pretty much assumed that if you get into medical school, you're going to have to take out just enormous loans. We are certainly very concerned, not only at GW, but nationally, we are very concerned that the debt levels that a student must take on in order to complete medical school specifically can be very limiting. What I didn't realize was that I was actually uh, um, eligible for scholarship money that was based on my financial need and also on my academic performance. I hear stories from specifically and frequently alumni that they would not have been able to come if someone hadn't offered them a chance, offered them a hand when they needed it. When I got a printout at the end, I didn't just see Stafford loans and these faceless you know, government loans with these huge you know, sums of money next to them, but I also saw real names. I saw the Logorns, I saw this, you know, Dr. Stevenson's name, and that struck me as, you know, these people didn't know me, you know, they didn't know my situation, but uh, they, they were just so ready and willing to welcome me into the GW community. That's just really touching to know that I'm not going through it alone. I'm not just taking out these, these loans on good faith, assuming I'm going to get through med school safely, but there are actually people that are out there that are really pulling for me, and that's, you know, that's amazing. Dear Mr. Wicks, Please accept my sincerest thanks to you and Ms. Grimes for the donation the Wicks Group made again this year to George Washington University. As a student coming from an immigrant family, I am a firm believer in hard work. I'm the first African American male in my family to pursue higher education. Since the fall of 2006, when I entered GW as a wide-eyed freshman, I've been fortunate enough to be the recipient of your generosity. Through dedication, perseverance, and the overall desire to succeed in life, 
I have been able to successfully complete my first year at the George Washington University. I don't know if I was this forthcoming in previous correspondence, but I simply would not be in college in this position without your help.